Hello, I'm Sandy Evil Helper, and this is a review of Kirby Squeak Squad for the Nintendo DS. This is the newest addition to the Kirby franchise, and the f well, yeah, the newest one of the Kirby franchise. All right, all the action happens on up on the first screen, I think. So, this game has the weirdest or stupidest. Uh, story ever. I'll just show you. Um, here, one second. I'll just show you the, the story. I think if you just stay on the screen for a little bit, then you, then you get into it. There we go. Early afternoon in Dreamland. It was so peaceful, peaceful, even the clouds are drowsy. And now it's Kirby's favorite time of the day snack time. That fat. <laughs> it's a yummy snack, it's a sweet, fluffy slice of strawberry shortcake. Time to dig in. Whoa, the cake that was supposed to about to be eaten has suddenly vanished. That scrumptious, oh my god, that's so gay, berry top slice of mouth-watering goodness. <sighs> no doubt about it, this is the work of that greedy king, deep dee dee. There, well, there's no time to waste, gotta get that cake back. So yeah, that's the story's not very good at all. But it is Kirby. But that is Kirby. One. Alright, so the game is basically just like all the other Kirby games. Except this one actually no, yeah, it is exactly like all the other Kirby games. Let's just do it. Okay, so here's the overall map. There is eight worlds to choose from. Yeah. Eight worlds. And which is awesome. That's quite a bit of worlds for a curtain game. So <coughs> so let's go. Let's just go to the Let's just go to the last world. Alright, so. There is. Well, actually, I'll just show you the boss. If you saw my first. If you saw my first ever vid, yo, then you know uh, how the gameplay is. Alright, so. Anyways. The first thing you. The first thing you do. Alright, so the thing that's different about this game is there's bubbles. And these bubbles go into your belly. See, they go into your belly. And you can mix them. So I have an umbrella and whatever that thing is. Oh yeah, and there's a question mark. That's random. No, seriously, it's random. Alright, so at the bottom screen, I mix them together. So I got a beam. Now you would I would mix the beam with that and I'll get another random thing and I got da -da -da -da, long jump. Okay. That's like the worst thing ever. Uh oh Alright, so let's go fight the boss. Hey, right, this is not my game. This is my uh, friend's game. I'm just borrowing it because you know I just got my DS for for Christmas. Alright, so so just while you do the the B button 
I think. The B button? Oh, sweet. I'm bomb Kirby. So, with everything you swallow, there's usually a uh, power that goes with it. When you swallow that gigantic bomb, you get bomb Kirby. You can throw bombs. Not very, uh, you know. But, there's nothing really to say about this game. It's a great game. And it's basically just a copy of all the other Kirby games ever made. It That doesn't mean it's a bad thing, though. It's great, though. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so. Sorry I couldn't make this longer. Wait, wait. Maybe I could. Oh, yeah, the guy that I'm fighting right now. Oh, I died. Yeah, the guy I was fighting is the guy that I was, I was fighting is um uh, oh yeah. So he, I don't I forgot his name, but he how it was supposed to be King D D D, but he figured out that it's not King D D D. It was that mouse dude. So. During the whole game, you're fighting the mouse dude and all his cohorts. So, in closing, don't really, I don't really want you to get this game. It's not a very good game. Just get the old games, like maybe Kirby Advance, Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. Uh, but if you don't, if you haven't played any other Kirby game and you have a DS, get this game. Uh, this is Sandy's little helper.